Hello viewers, greetings to you. Today I want to show you how to test a solar panel. This solar panel is 180 watt uh, solar panel. So for you to test uh, a solar panel, you need to measure the parameters of the solar panel. That is the open circuit voltage and the short circuit current of the solar panel. Now, when you multiply the voltage by the current, it will give you the power production of the solar panel as at the time of measurement because irradiance is not constant. Again, um, the measurement we are going to carry out here, uh, the solar panel is not connected to any load. The solar panel is not connected to any load. So when you connect the solar panel to a load, uh, what you are getting from there, the readings may be different from you know, the measurements you carry out when the solar panel is not connected to a load. So for you to measure the open circuit voltage and the short circuit current of the solar panel, you need a digital multimeter. This is a digital multimeter. This meter can measure both AC voltage, uh, uh, AC current, DC voltage, and DC current. It's just for you to know how to set the meter so that you'll be able to accurately uh, um, read the parameters of measure the parameters of the solar panel you can also use a clamp meter this is a clamp meter this meter is capable of measuring up to 400 uh, amps ac or dc this one can only measure up to 20 amps that is the maximum it can measure so anything above 20 amps it can destroy the meter but this one can measure up to 400 amps ac or dc so uh we are going to measure the open circuit voltage first. Please don't forget to let me know where you are watching from. So for us to measure the open circuit voltage, we'll switch on the meter. We're going to use this one first. We'll switch on this meter. Then these are the test probes. Now you need to position them. You can see where they are positioned if you are measuring voltage. Then uh, you need to switch the knob to dc if you are measuring dc voltage you switch it to dc voltage if you are me measuring ac voltage you switch it to ac voltage but here we want to measure dc voltage so we switch it to you know uh dc voltage and uh where you are putting the setting that is the knob the 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 range there should be higher than the measurement you are expecting from you know the solar panel or the battery bank as the case may be so here uh we will now take these are the uh, terminals of the solar panel, the positive terminal and the negative terminal. So we will take our test probe. This is the positive. It doesn't um, matter the one you, if you, pose, if you take this positive and place it on negative and you take uh, negative and place on positive, you will have a negative reading. So it will let you know that uh, uh, this is your positive terminal and this is your negative terminal. But if you want to do it straight, uh, you take your positive probe, this is your positive probe, you place it on the positive terminal of the solar panel and the negative on the negative terminal of the solar panel. So the voltage we are having now is 25.5 volts, 25.5 volts. So I will take it down, 25.5 volts. Then for us to measure current with this same meter, we are going to remove this positive test probe. We will remove it and place it here. Where we are having 20 amp max some meters you have 10 amp max so this is where we place it then we take the probes and we do the same thing positive to positive and negative to negative let us see the current sorry we also turn this knob to current dc current we want to measure dc current so we set it at 20 amps maximum so you turn it from voltage to current this is negative terminal to positive so we are having 3.53 is fluctuating so let's take 3.53 amps 3.53 so we multiply by 3.53 so we have 90 so as at the time of this measurement this 180 watt solar panel is producing 90 watts. That is the power production of this solar panel. So it all depends on the irradiance. If the intensity of sun increases, that is if the irradiance increases, then uh, the power generation or the power production 
will also increase. Now, you can use this clamp meter to measure the short circuit current. For you to do that, you switch it to current. The maximum here is 400 amps, but we can place it at 40 amps. Since what we are measuring is not is below 40 amps, so we can we can place it at 40 amps. So what do you do? You see the positive? This is the positive and this is the negative. You connect them together. That is the meaning of short circuit current. So you now clamp. So what we are having is 3.2 amps. It's fluctuating 3.2, 3.3 amps. So this is how to measure can see it here this is how to measure the parameters of your solar panel but if you are doing it like this you have to be very careful this is a single panel but if you have many solar panels connected in series or in parallel you'll be having either high voltage or high current so doing this kind of um, uh, measurement by connecting these two together like this it's dangerous can be hazardous if you have a lot of solar panels but this is a single panel so uh, the current that is coming out is not uh, much so it don't be uh, a much problem so if you have many solar panels don't do it like this rather you can know what the solar panels are producing by looking at your charge controller or your inverter if you are using a hybrid inverter then if you want to troubleshoot the you know your solar system by uh, maybe your power production there's a reduction, a drastic reduction in your power production. You can troubleshoot the solar panels individually. You disconnect them and carry out this process on the solar panels individually. From there, you may know the one that is bad. At times, maybe the diode, uh, you can check the junction box and uh, you know test if any of the diodes is bad. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, share, and like. See you in my next video.